Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Monday, November 9th. Uh, so starting the week slightly in the red, minus $24 on the day. Uh, the good news and bad news. The good news is uh, on the Mighty 90 strategy had two winners, no losers, plus $193. The bad news is I let some runners run the wrong way too long. <laughs> you can see I have a minus $1,400 in Tesla and minus 1084 in BABA. Now, luckily I caught some nice runners in Netflix and Facebook to, to get back. Uh, you know, I, one thing I, I noticed about my tendencies is if that I am down, I'm always trying to get back and sometimes I'll make trades that I shouldn't to get back. And one thing I did good today is even though I wasn't green on the day, I was down 24 bucks. I still just, I just shut it down. Uh, I, I, I didn't feel like I was in good sync with the market today with the, with the trading. I, did, I just didn't feel good about my decision-making capabilities. And so I did just shut it down. Uh, so minus 24 on the day, not the end of the world, uh, not green like I like, but uh, let's jump in and take a look at what we did here. So starting with, Let's start with Tesla, uh, my first Mighty 90. So I had this big push up. We got short right here at the pivot and we're looking for some downside. It did start to come down. In fact, I, I got out of a third of my position just on this little move here for about a 10% profit. Uh, and then once it pushed back above that, I closed the rest out and booked just a, a quick 15, $15 profit. So basically a scratch. Uh, DKNG was the next uh, Mighty 90. And when this, uh, we had this big flush down, we got long right in this area here. Actually, it was in this bar here. So yeah, that's right. We had that one higher volume that we waited for this one and then this started pushing and we got long here. So we caught a nice bounce, got out of most of, or half of our position on this bar here. We held the rest and I was, and I got out of uh, the rest here, except for I held a couple of small contracts. I was going to see if this thing wanted to really push higher. It didn't, it rolled over. And so once that happened, I ended up closing out the last two, but still booked $178 profit on DKNG. Uh, no pairs trades today. And then on the runners. So let's look at, let's go back to Tesla uh, because we had a, a runner that we took here. So after it started chopping around, around this, uh, pivot point, I was looking for an extension, a push higher, and it did not do that. Obviously it, it flushed lower. Um, and so my goal was to, I got, um, I just, I jumped in one contract here, I added here. And then I said, and from the very beginning, so I didn't, I didn't break any rules. My, my next ad was here at this pivot level and you can see it never bounced. It just flushed lower. So I got flushed out. Not a, not a terrible trade as far as my decision. The only thing is, you know, I really am trying to focus on not, uh, you know, accumulating runners. I really want to enter at a point where there's very low risk. So that would be like right here. And then below this consolidation area, just cutting out. And so that, that I did not do. Uh, but I wouldn't say I traded this terrible. It just didn't work out. So that was my biggest loss in Tesla of 1,403. Uh, my other big uh, loser on the runner side was Baba. And I did a very similar thing. And, um, and so what I did is after this big flush down, I started to consolidate. Sorry, my screen stopped jumping. Uh, and, it, and it came back up to the top of this consolidation area. I got short here. And again, you know, one of the things I've been trying to do is if it does push against this, push out of this consolidation area, just cut my loss, be done with it. Uh, instead, I added here, I let it push up on me and didn't get out until right here. So again, took a, over a thousand dollar loss. And, um, you know, I talked about this on one of my pre previous videos that my Monday trading for whatever reason, whether it's just out of practice from uh, uh, over the weekend or anxious and just wanting to get in and, and be in positions, whatever it is on Mondays, my, my, just my trading decision-making capabilities are not the greatest. And so I even mentioned that in the, in the live stream this morning that I need to be aware of that. And I still, you know, you, they weren't not terrible mistakes, but the size of the position, the way I managed them, uh, definitely didn't work out. And so it, it, it cost me, uh, let's go to the winners. Let's go to some good news, uh, starting with Facebook. 
So when the uh, the Nasdaq started to break down and and uh, Facebook was staying weak all day, and you can see it came down to to Friday's low and just started consolidating here. That's where I got that's where I got short and I rode this thing all the all the way down here. Took a bunch off. It bounced. I added to it and rode it down again. And so I got a nice uh, my biggest winner of the day one thousand three hundred forty five dollars in Facebook. So really nice trade there. Really nice trade there. Uh, Netflix did something similar, a little bit different timing, uh, but uh, Netflix was different because it was weak all day. You can see Netflix is currently down almost 7%, but we had this big bounce and then it looked like it was consolidating. It might move up above this pivot, but I didn't take the long because the stock was just so weak. And so that was a, that was a good thing, even though I, you know, there's some opportunity to get some gains right in that little area. But it, what happened is it ended up rolling over the Nasdaq started getting weak and it started chopping around under this pivot. And so I looked at that as a opportunity. In fact, it was on this little green bar on this little bounce is where I got short. And I just rode this thing down uh, for about an hour or so. And, and so I booked uh, a little over $1,200 profit. So that was my second best winner of the day. And so those are, uh, those are, the good and the bad Disney. I did have, I had one more trade in Disney here uh, that I took in the room. This was a, this was an upside runner. I, uh, I managed this one. Okay. And it was just a small loss. So, uh, nothing wrong with this one, but it had this big initial push up. Uh, Disney was up huge on the day. It's still up. Th yeah. It's up about 13%, about where it was when we did this, started chopping around, holding this pivot level, got long here, started to push up and then just rolled over and I cut my losses pretty quick. So just a, a small $285 loser in Disney, but net net minus 24 on the day. So unfortunately not starting this week green, um, but hopefully tomorrow is a better day. So hopefully we get some, some uh, more continuation in one direction or another, some extension instead of the move overnight. I'd love to have this kind of action during the trading session. We'll see what happens. If you guys have any questions, let me know.